Hi Leo, welcome to the Gypsy's Tower. We're doing your love reading for October. I hope I'm finding you well. Remember, if the reading resonates, so please hit like and subscribe. And if not, you can book a reading with me at the Gypsy's Tower linked below in the description. So what is coming up for my Leos? What do they need to know? We got anxiety, walking on eggshells, and healing. So you feel like, or someone you're dealing with here, I'm actually getting with moving on that you have moved on from this person and they have anxiety about it. They feel like they want to come in and they know that they'd be walking on eggshells, but that you are in a big healing process right now. And maybe this person does want to heal things with you. Okay. I just saw spiritual awakening with new perspective. What's anxiety? Life partner, forever potential. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. And healing the inner child shadow work. And we have self-love. Yeah, I think this is all about you loving yourself at this time, Leo. Um, there is someone that feels like they want to have a commitment with you. But some of you may have anxiety that this person's never going to come. And I feel like they are. They could be a fellow air, air sign. I don't know why I said that. They could be an um, Aquarius or Gemini. But um, they know they're walking on eggshells with you. Someone that you're dealing with. And it's like they're not allowed to come near you because of this healing that you're going through. This is what spirit wants. They want you to have this shadow work. They want you to have this introspection at this time. And it is like helping you manifest this forever person. Look at this. Wedding rings. Union, wedding, married, soul contract, eternal love, everlasting promise. The sword in rose. Clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. And see, I was just thinking of air signs too, which is the sword. So... Somebody wants to tell you the truth. They want to come in and, and get some clarity with you. And then we have kisses. Unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love with karmic relationship. Fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. So someone knows that they have to stay away, I feel, because they're not ready for commitment. They might be now, but you know that this person wasn't for you after healing and someone else is coming in. So don't worry about... If you'll ever have it, if that's something you're trying to manifest, because I think that's what's coming in no matter what, okay? And if you are hoping someone's going to tell you the truth about something, they are. Ooh, I split the deck on strength with the Ten of Wands in the reverse. I do feel you're releasing burdens. You are showing up, Leo. What does Leo need to know this um, October? We have the Chariot. Okay, some of you could be traveling, dealing with a Cancer. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Who's coming towards Leo? The Page of Pentacles. This could be a younger Earth sign or the sign of Capricorn. But this is also someone analyzing if they should do something, bring you something. And then we have the Five of Swords. So no. Okay, this person's very indecisive. They don't know what they want. What's okay? We have the Hero Font. So this is about marriage, spirituality, and the Star. Some of you could be in a commitment. And maybe you're worried about your partner, but we'll get into it. The outcome is the world. So something has come full circle. You have finished the cycle as of recent. Um, but let me meditate on this for a minute. There's a big accomplishment coming for you right now. And I do feel like some of you are traveling, taking a big trip. It's faded. This is part of your heal healing, part of your spirituality. You're a very well-rounded person. But you do have a childish energy around you that you're very tired of. And this person knows that. You've turned your back on them. You're healing, just like it said in the reading. And you're going towards someone that really does want commitment with you. And if you haven't met this person, I do feel you're going to meet them when you're out. Like, you could be out and about, even at a celebration. This could confuse you with the Four of Wands and the Seven of Cups. Um, but it's going to lead to a lot more. What is the chariot with the Wheel of Fortune for Leo's? We have the Nine of Cups. Maybe it's like a beach trip and the star. For some of you, water is very healing to you, okay? And I also feel like a little bit of selfishness has gone a long way for you at this time. You're not giving as much of yourself. This is really bringing in more balance. Fate and destiny are saying it's time to go. It's time to go in this direction, and you are. But some of you could be having a commitment with a Cancer, Taurus, or an Aquarius, this person is very conflicted, five of wands, very argumentative because they're in denial about what they want. They're still at this like 
I don't want to say this. I know I already said immature, but I feel like they're determined, but not enough because they're kind of foolish and they procrastinate, especially with the five of swords. They create a lot of conflict with you. They like to stir the pot five of wands. And uh, it's because they're in denial. They don't know what to choose or which direction to go in life. What's the hero font with the star? The high priestess and the five of swords. For some of you, this person could have been getting readings on you, okay? And they know that this is the direction you're going to go in. You have great things coming in. But if that's not it, it's like this person was trying to send the psychic attacks to you. They're not working. You're here healing. They're also realizing, too, that you've cut them off, like, telepathically, if you and this person had a deep connection. Because when I look at the Wheel of Fortune, I do see the sun and the moon. And that sometimes does mean a twin flame connection, but yeah, this was faded. Whatever this is that's coming to you. And your intuition is telling you this is where you need to be at this time. So get ready. What is the world card? We have the eight of wands. I'm telling you, some of you are traveling. And the death card. Cutting cords with people. Finding your peace with the hermit card here. Going within. Like I said, you've completed a cycle. For some of you, this could be business picking up. But there's a lot of messages coming in. Strong Scorpio. So I feel like you did the shadow work. You have had this death and rebirth. You cut the cords to people. Some of you have actually cut off communication to a fellow um, fire sign that you feel is maybe a little bit out of control or turbulent sometimes in your life and it's for your highest good to take this break right now and it is again bringing you towards someone that I feel you could have a very deep soul connection with what does this person not want Leo's to know about what they're thinking and feeling we have swept up head over heels falling in love intense emotions manifestation hopeful desires setting intentions wish fulfillment which you have here nine of cups and bossing up self-empowerment independently living and leading the pack mm -hmm. get it leo so this person knows that you are a force to be reckoned with all right and they also know that you're about to be swept up if they don't already they're gonna find out because they are snooping with that five of swords they're very sneaky and i don't like it yeah, this person's like, I don't know, I'm hearing this person might live a double life for some of you and you're over it. What is swept up? Confidence, divine, feminine, boss, stable, riches, successful woman, you or this person you could be dealing with. Soulmate, one of a kind, coming home, compliment each other and concealing, hidden feelings, suppressing, timid, secret, admirer. So someone might be a little bit jealous that you're getting your wish fulfillment. You have the power to manifest at this time, Leo. Mm-hmm. Okay, what deck was I using over here? Let's see. How's this person feeling towards Leo? Yeah, there could be a secret admirer that really does have more feelings for you. They like the way you carry yourself, whether you're feminine or masculine. We got divinely guided. You have met your divine flame. Just follow the signs to your soul and everything will occur in divine timing. Breakthrough. They're planning right now to come towards you and ask for a second chance. Expect communication real soon and building an empire. They see how their focus on material things hasn't made them happy, only holding them back from love. So yeah, this person might come in with a very fiery energy, like I want you now. And it's like, I think it's too little too late. I think you've already moved on in a situation here. You are being aligned with your divine flame. What else does Leo need to know about this? It says clean up crew, cleaning up life, getting rid of distractions, making healthy choices, karmic ties, karmic relationship, karmic situations, debt, not good for you. Yeah, you already know this. Your intuition told you. And then we have rocking horse, indecision, indecision, lack of consistency on and off relationship. So like I said, with that two of swords, five of wands, five of swords, this person was too inconsistent in your life and you're done with them. You're like, no, I'm not doing this, especially when you're in your boss energy. You don't want people like that dragging you down. So get excited for October. I think you're going to have a lot of offers coming in in love too. And there's something about you needing to cleanse your house, like do a sweep with the cleanup crew. Let's see advice for Leo. We have daydreaming love. Ooh. All right, let's see. I love this deck. I opened right up to it. 
It says there's something powerful about the daydream, a visualization that is without restraint. Harness this power of your present self. See yourself in your mind's eye as you are now, receiving and accomplishing the things that you desire. Maybe you thought that these things were unattainable to you unless you were better in some way, but this is folly. You are worthy as you are to receive every good thing. So practice your daydream today. And you guys do, you have this strong power to manifest right now and you're being divinely guided. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. I love, love, love you. Bye.